So I have a 72 volt, 3000 watt electric mini bike kit sitting around here that I bought off of Amazon. I think it was around $289. So the kit came with this Kunray 3000 watt motor. Then you have a 50 amp controller, which is kind of a big controller for the bike I want to put it on, but I'll make it fit. Then you have the throttle assembly with the on off switch. And then it has a three speed selector. So um, I think it's 50%, 75% and 100%. Then you got the power block, the plugs, came with a key switch. Then you got the chain and sprockets, or actually chain and sprocket. Then it has a voltmeter. So I want to install all of these components on this bike. And this thing is small. Just the battery alone is pretty much almost as big as the bike. You figure the battery in the motor is going to take up a lot of space on here. Then I figure the controller might fit up here on top, possibly, maybe. So I figure I'll mount the controller up there, then the battery up in here somewhere, hopefully, maybe, if it's not too big. And then the motor down in here, and then the sprocket I'm gonna have to make fit because the sprocket that came on the bike had this really small chain. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount this sprocket that came with the kit. So by the time you get the motor mounted and the battery and then the controller, that pretty much takes up all the space on this bike. So I'm going to see if I can mount this 72 volt electric mini bike kit on this very small pocket bike frame. So first things first, I'm gonna have to mount a sprocket on this wheel here. And then I'll actually fit the chain that came with the kit. So this is the sprocket that came off the bike. So I think I'm just gonna cut the hub out of this sprocket and then just weld it into this one. And that way I can mount it on the wheel. All right, so I cut the hub out of this one and ground it all off. And now it'll sit down on this one, in this sprocket. And all I have to do is just weld it around there. Got her all welded up on there. So now, hopefully this will bolt right on here. So normally I try to mount the motor first and get the uh, sprocket and stuff all aligned. But I think on this one, I'm gonna try to mount the battery first just to make sure that it'll fit. So I figure if I mount right here. So it looks like it'll fit on there. So I think I'll run some aluminum over the battery here. And maybe from here, put a couple straps on there. And I think that should hold it. Then I'll go ahead and flip it over and then mount the motor. So I'll bend up some aluminum that I already had from another bike and just bend it over the battery there and then bolt it to the uh, holes that are already in the frame. There we go, that'll work. I'll just bend one up for the front and then bolt it down and I think we'll be all right. All right, gotta bolt it on there. Let me flip it over and see if it'll uh, interfere with the steering any. Hey, that looks like it'll work. I mean, it looks huge on there, but now I gotta see if I have room for the uh, for the motor though. Let's see if I can get this motor up in here. Okay, looks like it's gonna fit in there. So let me figure out a mount here real quick. So with the motor, setting about right here everything lines up so all i have to do is uh put a spacer under here and drill a couple holes in that mount and then maybe bend this over and bolt it here and then weld one on the other side and i think we'll be good to go for the motor well this was easy enough the uh, mount mounted flush up against the motor plate once I bolted the uh, side mount on. So I think that'll work out pretty good. 
So we got the motor all bolted up. It's nice and sturdy on there, so I think that'll work. So we got the throttle assembly and the speed selector switches and the brakes hooked up. So now I'll see if I can mount this controller and hopefully I can get it to fit on here. I think I'm gonna have to grind off this tab to get that to fit on there. Looks like it'll fit on there pretty good. So I'm gonna put the front down on here like this. So maybe I'll weld a uh, bracket and bolt it there and then bolt one here in the back. So I'll weld a plate on there and then one back here. So I'll drill a mounting hole in here. All right, so that turned out pretty good. So now I think I'll go ahead and pull all this stuff off of here and paint it before I go any farther, paint the frame. So this motor comes from the factory to be mounted normally with a sprocket on this side, on the right side, so it would spin forward. But I mounted it the opposite way with a sprocket on the left side. So the way it's set up right now, the motor will spin backwards. So to make the motor spin forward, I need to change up the green and the yellow wire on the hall connector. And then the phase wires, I need to hook blue to yellow and yellow to blue on the block. So this setup does have reverse, but the only thing is, in reverse, it only runs about 40% power. So on some of these plugs, depending on the style, you can put a needle in the back and push the tab down and the wire will pop out. But on this style plug, the tab is in the inside of the plug here. So you can use a screwdriver and you can put it in there right above the pin and push down the tab. So now I'll do the green one and then switch them around. All right, so there's a green one. So now I'll take my uh, needle here and then bend these tabs back up. So now I will swap locations on the plug. Okay, so I swapped the green and the yellow. Green on top and yellow in the middle now. So then on the block here, of course you have the uh, hot and the negative, and then the blue wire goes to the yellow, and the yellow goes to the blue, and then the green stays the same. So pretty much got it finished up. Got the gauge working. So we're at what, 99% battery, 81.8 volts. Then I got the brakes hooked up on the front. And you have the back brake. No, just mechanical brakes. Cause you know, I don't plan on going 50 miles an hour on this thing. So this should be okay. And then I made up a mount here for the charging plug. So this is pretty much the smallest bike that I put together. It'll be interesting trying to ride this thing. I might have to raise those handlebars or weld up a different type of bar on there. The seat sets up here so high and these handlebars are so low. 
I might just throw this seat on here. That's a little bit thinner. And maybe it'll feel like you're sitting down lower. So let me swap that out real quick. Okay, so that's a little bit lower. So that might be better. We'll see. I think I'm just gonna try it on the lowest setting first. Cause this thing is torquey on the lowest setting. This is 50% power. Okay, there we go. We're wide open now on 50% power. Man, this thing is pretty squirrely. I mean, right here is faster than the bike was designed for already. All right, let me click it up to 75% power. Okay, here we go. 75% power and it's way torquey. Okay, we're at 75% power. Wide open. This thing's crazy. It feels like you're going 100 on this little tiny bike. It is just way torquey. It's hard to tell on the camera, but... I definitely won't be doing a 0-30 to 30 with this bike. I mean, there's just no way. At 75% power, you can't even... At 75% power, you can't even crack the throttle without the thing wanting to do a wheelie. But everything looks like it's still together. Let me do 100% here. Oh man, this thing's got too, way too much torque. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens here. Another thing too, it could use some, this thing could use some bigger foot pegs. I'm barely on the throttle at all right now. I mean, barely touching it. All right, let me get on it a little bit. It's actually too fast for this bike. I mean, it, it's just super squirrely. With a tiny wheelbase. Oh, this thing moves. Man, this thing is dangerous. No wonder they don't put 72 volts on these from the factory. There's no way I could do a 0 to 30 on this. I mean, maybe if I got used to it. This bike went 44 miles an hour and there was still throttle left. So I definitely don't want to go any faster on that bike. I mean, if I was a little bit smaller, I probably could, but the wheelbase is so short that it's pretty squirrely. And there is no way you're going to give it all the throttle from the start. This thing's got such a short wheelbase that it's just hardly controllable if you get on it all the way, even at 50% power. It's crazy quick for such a small bike. But surprise, surprise, I mean, 72 volts, 